Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. In this video, what we are simply going to do is designing a logo. And look, I understand when it comes to logo design and then um, brand building, there are so many processes that is involved. But for this video, we are only going to be focusing on the logo design aspect of things. All right. There's a separate video that will be made in the future to handle all of the process you would have to go through. And I'm even having a workshop tonight. I think by the time this video will be released, you know, it will be over. All right. But you can still join the community to have access to the recorded video I understand to learn some of the things that goes into brand building so without any further ado let's dive into the video and let me teach you how to create this amazing logo in Canva so when it comes to logo design in Canva there are so many things that goes into it like I said earlier for logo design there are things you need to have your colors and the text you want to use okay I'm already sure of the colors I want to use, but you might not be sure of the colors you want to use. So I'm going to teach you how you can generate colors or come up with color ideas for your logo business, okay, or your logo brand. The first thing you need to do is come to Canva, just search for Canva colors, okay? And you should see canva.com forward slash colors. When you see this page, all you need to do is to click on color palette ideas. And you see, there's so many color palettes Canva has generated for you. So you can feel free to choose any one you want. And once you go in there, you can decide to choose all the color codes or just screenshot it and upload it in Canva. All right. After you've done this, what you can also do is, if you're not sure of the text you want to choose in Canva, there are various websites like Google Font and 1001font.com. These websites will help you, you know, choose fonts, download them and upload them in Canva. If you don't know how to upload fonts in Canva, let me just show you quickly how to do this, okay? So let's come into Canva, come into brand. I just hope by now you have your brand in canva and you should know that this option is only for those who have canva pro so you can see under font when we click on add new there's the option to upload font once you click on it click on add new choose the font you want you know there's a font so if i click on it it will upload in canva but if you're on the free version of canva you want to try this feature i have a special link in the description box below that would help you try out canva pro for free so make sure you're clicking on it and you know try this feature because if you can do it you will actually enjoy it okay so look let's dive into the main part of this video all right so with our logo the first thing you will need to do is come to element okay and in element make sure you're coming into shapes okay so come into shapes and make sure you're finding the shape over here it's called hexagon hexagon H E X A G O N hexagon. Okay, then <laughs> increase the size. Okay, so once you increase the size like this, you know the points are too sharp and it's not the best. Okay, the type of logo we want to create is going to be for a cake brand, so we want it to be friendly. All right, and this means that the point or the yeah the point or the angle should be a bit rounded. Uh -huh. So you see the difference it makes. Okay, now that we've done that, the second thing I need us to do is add a border to it. Okay, so I choose the line and for the color, you know, I'll choose this second color. Okay, the dark color. Then for the main color, come to color in here. Okay, and I'm going to use this one. Okay, yeah, for the main color. All right. Now that we've done that, duplicate it. Okay, so you can use Ctrl D to duplicate. Position it on top. Click on any of the corners, okay, and make sure you're pressing and holding Alt while you click and drag. So you have something like this, okay. Then we are going to change the color inside here to this. Very, very beautiful, all right. Now that we've added this, the next thing you have to do is to press T on your keyboard, okay, and have it here. We'll add some text soon. Then press R on your keyboard. For the shape okay so I'll position the shape here okay then we can increase it like this okay and we would also add the border all right to it and we need to know the amount of you know the roundness the corner rounding it's 11 so we'll do the same for this okay so we'll just add 11 over here let's make sure the border color is matching okay so everything is matching okay the next thing i want you to do is 
to come here in element and choose for rectangle no not not rectangle triangle <laughs> okay now with this triangle we are going to make the colors match with the corner or the border of the of the shapes okay so i'll come to colors and choose you know the same color for it to match and we'll add the corner rounding and make sure you're making it what 11 all right yes so we'll position this here and make sure it's centered position it here drag it here and i'll just pull it down you know something like this okay so make sure it's hiding properly okay so we can see what we have at the moment this is very very beautiful okay so now we bring our text on top and let's assume the brand is called twister kicks okay so i'll just see twister kicks so t w i s t e r kick twister kicks and i'm gonna make a big like this okay and my accent just arrived all right so now that we've done that we're going to use the futura display font okay yeah for this twister kicks and you can use any font of your choice okay so i'm just going to position this here then i come to the color okay and i'm going to make it off white you know sort of then would add some effects okay to it so i'm going to add this outline and make the color match okay then would increase you know it's a little bit to something like this i think this works all right and let's reduce the size a little bit and we'll take it to the top a little bit so i think yeah everything is looking good now we'll need to add some kick in here over here i'll just come to element okay and i'll search for kicks okay and depending on the kicks you would use it should match the colors if it's not matching the colors you can just you know quickly adjust the colors to make sure whatever you have here is matching the colors okay so i'm going to scroll down a little bit to see if i'll find any um kick that would match my colors all right so after spending some time and searching for kicks and cupcakes and all that i finally found this one okay so i'm just going to position this one over here and you can see it's really working it's really really working all right now what we are going to do next is to add our second font in here and i will just place this over here i'll change the color to white okay all right i'll change it to white and i can simply say that homemade with love okay so let's say homemade with love if you want to go crazy you can actually add a small love emoji just to let you know people know that okay this brand is unique okay and it's your logo so however you want it is totally up to you all right yeah what i also would want to do you know a simple adjustment is to drop this down a little bit okay and i would move this ship okay the triangle to the back all right so that we have it looking like this and let me also adjust this a little bit okay then i can bring this here and i will just add established okay est d okay which is established and i'll place this here and also change the color all right to match what we have in here and make it bold and we'll also place this here and i can simply say 2024 because we actually made it today okay so once we do that we can drop it down a little bit and i think we can also make this big a little bit something like this and i feel we've been able to design something beautiful inside of canva and this was inspired by um, a logo i actually saw on free pick yeah free pick so i can group everything okay and we can download this okay so there are so many formats you can download it with the background without a background in svg and all of that okay so the first way i want to download it is without the background and we have to use png and the reason i'm doing this is because i want to create some mockups okay of this logo so we can visualize it and um, just see how it can be used in real life okay that is the whole point so now this is the logo we can see and let's apply it to a mockup so we can understand how it can be used and we are going to be using some interesting um 
apps okay they are all free you don't have to pay for it okay so this is the logo and this is the mock-up i found from free pick all right so i'm just going to download it free download all right and yeah free pick actually gives you you know a limit a download limit and all that but don't worry this is just we trying things out okay so now that it's done we can see i have extracted the file and this is it over here so just to avoid any sort of payment come to photopia.com okay photopia.com and it's a free software that works like photoshop and the rest all right then we are simply going to drag and drop this in here okay so you drag and drop it should load it should spend some time and open for ya. Yeah, all right so you can see we have this looking very nice and we have all of the various layers in here okay so what we simply need to do is to find the actual part okay so you can see this is the actual design we have to change okay so i will just come into my canva okay create a new page all right and let's create some sort of like a background or a pattern all right so i will come here and search for pattern okay and you know it, it's cake so something simple to make the cake look kicking or to make the cake kick <laughs> okay so this is what we have i'll make it big and i'll change the color to something like this okay then i would download it so i would just want the first one and i want the background to remain so yes it should download for us all right and i'll just make it bg Okay, so now that is done, we we'll first of all upload the background over here. Okay, and I'll make the size bigger and press enter. Okay, then I can delete this. Okay, then we can add the kick logo. So we can drag and drop it over here. You can see how it's locking. All right, and you can decide to make it small, make it big, anyhow you want it. You know, it's up to you. Okay, after you do that, just Control s to save okay and come back over here and you see it's been applied and wow this looks beautiful you know it really looks beautiful and i think we've done a full job you know even though we are just focusing on logo design i think we've done a little bit of branding in here and i think it's working did you enjoy it if you did enjoy it which logo would you want me to design next leave it in the comment section below don't forget you can join my community the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video peace